One other thing, Weldon, you mentioned the name Paul Chalimo. And I was like, this is, like you said, one of the most fascinating potential athletes in the field. And he is listed as entered. So I reached out to him. I was like, Paul, are you running the trials? You know, they're three weeks away. I imagine he would know at this point if he's running them or, you know, if he's started training for a marathon. He said, Hello, indeed, my name is on the starting list, but that doesn't mean that I will have my foot on the line. It only means that at the time I speak to you, there is a possibility that I will be present this day. Or maybe not. So Paul is keeping things cryptic. I mean, that would be really interesting to me, is if I'd like to know if he's running, but I think it would be kind of cool if like he just keeps it a secret and then suddenly on like three days before the trial, someone at the Orlando airport, it's like, Paul Chalimo seen flying into Orlando. Actually, track and field is probably not popular enough for that to be happening. Like, if this was the NFL or like the Shohei Otani situation, you'd have like paparazzi or all these people. If Paul Chalimo just gets on a flight and lands in Orlando, there probably aren't going to be that people like, oh, he's here for the trials. But it would be fun if like the day before the trials, he just shows up and like, yep, I'm running him. Deal with it. I mean, John, he could, he needs to play this all the way out. I agree. Stick with it, Paul. I mean, he's one of the more entertaining guys on the U.S. side. I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff he does besides his salute celebrations, but Sean, your memory's better than mine. Think of those, but he could even show up because, you know, there might be sponsorship opportunities in Orlando. He could still go to the line, start, pretend, and then drop out or something like, or go for the race. So I, I want him keeping his mouth completely quiet till the gun goes off and who knows what's going to happen. This is excellent. Our sport needs this. A little drama, a little... I do think it could be a little difficult, though, at the end of the race. You know, Paul likes to drift out a little wide. The guys might not be right on his shoulder in the final 100 meters because the road is wider than the track, that sort of thing. So I don't know if he's going to be able to Tokyo drift his way to the win. But, yeah, I think it would be fascinating if he runs. Really exciting. He's got the talent to make the team, but can he run a good marathon? Who the hell knows? So it would be really interesting. We need to get Paul together with the message board poster from September, still a hobby jogger. The guy, remember him? He qualified with a 216 PB and he started an eight page thread about whether he should just lead the Olympic trials and then fake an injury. Get him and Paul to run together, go out in front, monopolize the TV time. It's amazing Robert mentioned this thread because I was looking at the most upvoted post. 2023 the most upvoted post of the year is from that thread i guess this i guess almost by definition this is the post of the year on latron.com from the thread should i lead the first half of the olympic trials then drop poster go big or go home devastated says the purist will say run your best race and take pride in finishing the best place you can your true friends will tell you to roll the dice, lead the first half on rocket fuel pace and be that douchey white guy who wears a Kenyan singlet. If when you drop out, make it dramatic. Do it before the chase back gets to you so it doesn't look like you outdid yourself, got caught, and just gave up. Have a limo waiting for you at a predetermined location, steeplechase leap over a course barrier, dive straight in your getaway car, and don't post a single run on Strava until January 13th, 2025, when Shelby Houlihan's doping ban expires. The more questions your dropout produces, the better. 469 upvotes, six downvotes. I love it. Speaking of upvotes, it looks like I just got a text while we were recording. Most upvoted users of the last year. I don't see Jonathan Galt on this list anywhere. I don't, I don't post as much as you do. Robert Johnson appears to be third place. 26,000 upvotes last year on the message board for me. It's number three in all of the Let's Run Internet 